It was a quiet week for gold and silver, with physical bullion traders reporting low volumes. Gold dealers in India, for example, reported weak demand ahead of next week's Akshaya Tritiya festival, traditionally a big gold-buying occasion. Some dealers blamed the weakness of the rupee against the dollar, which has pushed up domestic gold prices. One symptom of this week's low trading volumes was the sharp move seen at several of this week's London fixes. On Tuesday, for example, the afternoon fix saw gold fall $20 before bouncing back almost immediately. The gold fixing involves dealers from the five major bullion banks establishing a common price for a large pool of buy and sell orders. In a thin market, the weight of these orders can sometimes be enough to move the price, as we saw on Tuesday. Friday's PM fix came in at $1,641.50 an ounce, a 1.5% weekly drop. It was also a quiet week for silver, with spot market prices looking set for a slight gain on the week by Friday afternoon in London. Stockpiles of silver in warehouses monitored by the COMEX Futures Exchange recently hit a 20-year high. As one analyst pointed out this week, this may be a sign that people have nothing better to do with their metal, with premiums in Asia and elsewhere not especially high right now. Next week sees the latest Federal Reserve policy meeting. If the Fed says anything unexpected, we might see the market wake up a bit. To keep up to date with the latest on gold and silver, visit goldnews.bullionvault.com.